Hey guys, it's Alexis. Thanks for coming to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so right now. So today's fitness video is going to be all about the number one, number one, exercise you should be doing if you want to have that snatch waist. Everybody wants to have that nice hourglass figure and have that waist cinched in. So a lot of people are claiming um, that there are certain exercises um, that you can do that will help you get a smaller waist, which is kind of true. Yes, there are exercises that you can do to help reduce your waistline, but it's not going to be drastic. But there are specific exercises that work specific muscles in your abdominal area that are intended specifically to help you get a smaller waist. And that's what this exercise is. So, the vacuum. I'm sure you guys have probably already done this without even thinking about it. Most of us, when we're wearing something really tight, um, or we're in a bikini or something showing off our body, we suck in our stomach, right? You're pulling in your stomach. That's called the vacuum. But you're probably not doing it the correct way that it should be done to see benefits. You're just sucking in your stomach. The vacuum works your transverse abdominis. And this is literally a natural corset and a waist belt that's right here. Bodybuilders and um, you know fitness models, fitness competition models, they've been doing this forever. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do it. There's a picture of him online, like he's literally sucking in his stomach. The vacuum is sucking in, but it's specifically, you exhale everything out and you're gonna pull your navel battle button into your spine. So it's gonna be like, you suck everything out, okay? And you pull it in where your belly button is pulled into your spine all the way back you're pulling so out and you're pulling a string in you're going to feel that muscle get tense and you're working that muscle and that muscle actually doesn't get worked out a lot we ignore it we're focusing on doing other exercises and when you work it since that belt is going this way it cinches your waist in so as you're doing this exercise the vacuum you're working your transverse abdominis, also known as the TVA, if you want to get super fancy with it. And you're really cinching in that natural waist belt that you already have. The TVA lies under your rectus, abdominis, and your oblique muscle. And this is the deepest muscle in your abdominal area. So when you work this muscle, you're really, really going to be making sure you get the full, full benefits of what you're needing to get that snatch waist. And it's super effective. If you do it literally just for a week, you do this vacuum, you know, when you wake up and before you go to sleep, you're going to see drastic results. I tried it and I'm telling you, like, it helped get my waist to what, I'm, what I've been trying to get it to. I model, so I, my measurements have to be a specific way. This got my waist to exactly where I wanted it to. I was at a 26 inch waist and now I have a 24 inch waist, you guys. 24. Like I mentioned before, your vacuum is like a waist belt, okay? So it runs from left to right and it's cinching it in. So there's three ways that you can do it that make it really difficult, that make it, they're kind of easy. So I'm going to show you those three different ways um, and explain to you the difference and the variations and hope you enjoyed this video and let's get that waist snatched. So this is going to be the beginner um, version of the vacuum. So there's two beginner versions that you can do. So the first one is you're going to be laying straight on your back. So this is the one that I'm saying you can do right when you get up in the morning. So you're going to lay down on your back and you can get on the mat like that I am. Or like I said, right when you wake up in the morning, you're laying down, you stretch everything out. You're going to exhale everything. Exhale everything. And you're going to pull your navel, your belly button in as close to your spine as you possibly can. So you should be able to, you should feel that. So like I said, your transverse is right here. You're going to feel that muscle working. So you're pulling this into your navel. And when you're starting off, you want to just hold it for 15 seconds. So I've already held it for about 15 seconds. You release, and then you're going to do that um, two more times. So you're going to Exhale everything and pull your navel as close to your spine as you possibly can. And like, I'm feeling it right now. It feels super good. Um, so like I said, when you're starting off, hold it for 15 seconds and do three sets. Release, 
do it again. Um, and once you've worked your way up from there, you can work up to, so work up from 15 seconds to like 20 to 30 to 40. The highest I want you to go to is to do 60 seconds of five sets. So you're going to start with 15 seconds of three sets and work your way up to 60 seconds of five sets. I'll show you the other option for the beginners, um, the beginner back here. So you're going to stand up, you can just be brushing your teeth, you're just, you know, standing in front of your mirror, whatever. Um, you're going to exhale everything. And again, you're going to suck your navel into your spine. So you exhale and you're going to pull it in to your spine. Just like that. And you're going to hold that again for 15 seconds starting off and working your way up to the 60 second mark and release it. So those are the two beginner options of the vacuum. And now here is the intermediate. So this is the intermediate version of doing the vacuum. It's pretty simple, it's, it's not too complicated. You're literally just going to be sitting down. So you can be sitting on your couch, watching TV doing this. You could be sitting, you know, at work, um, on your computer, at your desk, um, sitting in the library, studying, whatever you're doing, you're, you're sitting, okay? You're sitting down. So you're going to be sitting on a sturdy surface and your back is going to be straight and you're going to once again exhale everything out and you're going to pull your navel again as close to your spine as you possibly can and I'm going to sit here um, starting off at 15 seconds for 3 sets and working your way progressively up to 60 seconds for 5 sets try that a couple more times depending on how you're starting off and now check out the way to do the advanced vacuum. So this is going to be the advanced uh, version of doing vacuum. So you're going to get on your hands and knees like this, making sure you are, you know, stable and sturdy. And this is the hardest part because when you're sitting down or you're standing up, you're not going against gravity. Like this, you're going, you, your, your belly button, your stomach naturally wants to just fall, right? So you're going against gravity by sucking it in. So again, you're going to exhale everything and pull your belly button as far into your navel as you possibly can. And you're going to hold that again. Oh my God, I can't even talk about this. You're going to hold that again, um, working your way from 15 seconds of three sets to 60 seconds of five sets. So you're holding that and you release. So then you're going to just do that again, um, you know, working your way. So starting, like I said, with three sets and then all the way up to five. That is the hardest um, version of the vacuum and I personally like doing that. Um, it's my favorite because I, I like to I like to feel that burn. You can really feel it, um, especially once you get up to doing five sets of sixty seconds. Incorporating this into a regular um, workout routine is also going to help make it even better. So if you're doing some obliques for that day that are targeting your waist, um, incorporating doing the vacuums in between those are going to really amplify your results. Not only does it help you with your waistline, but it also helps with your posture. Um, working your TVA, your transverse abdominis, helps to really um, el not elongate your spine, but help to make you have better posture and it helps with lower back issues and any pain that you may be experiencing or some people have. So it has many benefits. So great exercise to do. Um, you can do it right when you wake up, like I said, um, before you go to bed, and be on your way to getting a smaller waist. And